We're going to bring on, by popular demand, our comedian. Intentionally comedian, that is. Now, this, this man almost single-handedly supports the University of Michigan. I think about it. He's got at least two grandkids going there now, Erica Wiedis, Jeremy Posner. He had a, a grandson who just graduated a year or two ago, Alan Posner, who's a music teacher. And you have another grandson who graduated a year or two ago, Justin Wiedis, who's a musician and a science teacher. So that's four. Anyway, Mr. Seymour Posner. for opening for me. You did very well. Uh, I want to tell a couple of Jewish stories. Are there any Jews here? <laughs> well, you know, I, I guess they're kind of universal. There's a story about a very, very well-to-do Jewish man who had to go to New York on business. And uh, his wife said, you're going to stay with my cousin Sadie. He said, no, no, no. This time I'm cheating myself. I made a big deal here. I'm staying at the Waldorf. Is the Waldorf? says, yeah, the penthouse. Okay, listen, you earned it, go. So he goes, flies to New York, goes to the Waldorf, which if any of you have been there, it's really a very, very nice hotel. And he's in the penthouse, and the second day he's there, he gets up and he says, um, uh, I'd like to talk to the kitchen. And he said, yes, sir. They connect him to the kitchen. He said, I'd like to make a special order for tomorrow morning for breakfast. And he says, um, yes, sir, this is the Waldorf. Anything you want. He says, I want you should make me two eggs. One should be burnt, and the other should be raw. He says, but, but sir, he says, no, no, just get a pencil, mark it down. He says, then I want toast, two slices of toast. One should be burnt, and the other should be soggy. He says, but sir, this is the Waldorf Astoria. He says, I just keep writing what I tell you. He says, then I want a cup of coffee, so thick that I can put a spoon in it and stand up by itself. You got that? He says, sir, it's impossible. We could not deliver an order such as that at the Waldorf Astoria. He says, I don't know if I'm not. He says, I got it that way yesterday and I didn't order it that way. <laughs> No, the other, no, the the <laughs> <laughs> Two elderly Jewish men who recently lost their wives, were widowers, decided incidentally to go on a cruise to kind of, you know, relax. And they, um, by circumstance, they ended up at the same table at the, on a cruise ship. And it turns out they were both born with a birth. Their families came from within three miles of each other in Poland. And they had so many things in common and similar, they just fell madly in love with each other, spent the whole five days on the trip in each other's company and enjoyed every second of it. So they made a pact. When they got back to New York, they were going to get together and talk and be friends, and like, like in love. So they get back to New York and Max calls Sam. He says, Sam! Yeah, Max, what's up? He says, I got something special. You and I are going together. We're going to have dinner at the Waldorf. Then we're going to go to the ballpark, the brand new ballpark for the Yankees. I got those $800 seats. And we're going to be sitting next to George Steinbrenner. How do you like that? He says, when is it? He says, Sunday night. I'm sorry. He says, I can't go. He says, what do you mean you can't go? He says, Steinman is playing. Oh, oh, all right, okay, I'll call you again. Two, three weeks go by, gets a call. Max, yeah, I got something for you, boy. I got something. We're going to a special dinner, the mayor of New York. And I'm on a committee, and I'm going to be at the head table, and you're going to be sitting next to me, and the mayor is going to be sitting next to me and we are going to have a good time and we're going to talk over old times like before. He says, uh, when is it? He says, uh, Friday night. He says, I can't go. He says, why not? He says, Steinman is playing. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll call you again. A couple, three weeks goes by, he calls up, he says, Max, you cannot say no. He says, what, what, what do you mean, say no to what? 
He says, I have got us sitting at the same table, Jewish National Fund. We're at the head table. Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be sitting between us. And this is going to be some night. He says, what night is this? He says, Saturday night. He says, I can't go. He says, Steinman is playing. He says, who the hell is Steinman and what is he playing? He says, I don't know what he's playing and I don't know who Steinman is. But what Steinman is playing, I'm hocking Steinman's life. <laughs> <laughs> oh.